Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. James Clapper, Trump's business finances may be next shoe to drop in Mueller investigation. Former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper told CNN's Anderson Cooper there are other shoes to drop in the Mueller investigation. Clapper implied Trump's business finances before and during the election will be the next target for the dirty cop Mueller. Now on Friday, the Office of Special Counsel Robert Mueller announced that a grand jury indicted 13 Russian nationals, along with three Russian entities, accused of supporting the presidential campaign of then-candidate Donald J. Trump and disparaging Hillary Clinton. Now The 37-page indictment was a big, fat nothing burger. Rosenstein said not one American had knowledge that they were interacting with Russians who were posing as Americans. Furthermore, Rosenstein admitted the, Russians operation, the Russian operations did not impact the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. Also, no, uh, nowhere in the indictment does Mueller accuse the Russian government of being involved in the troll farm. Now, the Mueller witch hunt continues despite zero evidence. Trump worked with the Russians to take down Hillary Clinton during the presidential election. So let's take a quick uh, listen in on the rest of what James Clapper had to uh, say during his interview with Anderson Cooper. I think there may be other shoes to drop there, too. I don't know. Because this indictment was so specific in the, in the language it used, um, saying, you know, in, in this indictment. It's exactly. And what you see here is another manifestation of the very methodical, systematic, disciplined approach that uh, Special Counsel uh, Mueller, Bob Mueller and his team are, are taking. And I think there are other shoes to drop here. Uh, notably, uh, finances. I, 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 I think that's going to be uh, another uh, uh, profound thing that's going to come out about this. What, what were the financial uh, relationships uh, between the Trump organization before the election and then the, 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 the Trump campaign? Well, that, um, that's one of the fascinating things about this indictment today. And to your point is, you start to understand why he selected the attorneys, the law enforcement people, the intelligence special, all that he did, people who are experts in money laundering, people who are experts in cyber activities, uh, intelligence activities, exactly. they were all selected for a reason, and it's more than just what was in this indictment. Oh, absolutely. And, of course, as, as we've often said, uh, Bob Mueller and his team know a lot more about all this than is out there than we know. And I think there's much more to come. I didn't see any announcement about closing down the investigation after this indictment. Yeah. So no more talk about over by Thanksgiving, over by New Year's. No. Uh, it's going to go on. Uh, uh, Director Clapper, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ed. All right. Well, so... There you have it. You heard what James Clapper had to say with Anderson Cooper. Now, crazy Adam Schiff also brought up Trump finances recently in a breakfast meeting with the Christian Science Monitor. Um, Schiff floated the idea that the Trump's, uh, Trump campaign may have engaged in money laundering. We have not uh, been able to adequate, adequately follow the money, Schiff said, completely ignoring the fact that Hillary Clinton's entire campaign was a money laundering scheme. Now, the deep state and criminal Democrats are never going to give up on this witch hunt. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton and the Obama's dirty FBI and DOJ used a fraudulent dossier to obtain a FISA warrant to, to, a FISA warrant to spy on Trump's camp. You know, where the heck is Jeff Sessions? So there you have it. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And uh, tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.